everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number two of our production line Let's Play. When we left off, we were going to put in a uh, replacement for our fit body thing, I believe. Now, is there any way that we can... Can we stop this from producing more vehicles? Is there... Because I'd like to, you know, because we're going to uh, replace this line, so I'm going to want to build a, um, uh alternate route, you know, for our... Uh, our vehicles to go down and it would be nice to stop them from being built while we do that but I don't think any of these things are going to allow me to do that so I wonder if if I put down a line here is it going to well it looks like it took out the took out the body that was uh, the chassis that was already on there so I guess I'm just gonna now wait did that take out the chassis that was on there too Sh shoot well oh well it's, what's done is done um, all right so we are gonna specialize this fit body thing what do we have we have 1.2 million dollars so we want to make sure we don't spend too much money so it's gonna be 130 oh, okay so it's not gonna be too expensive about two hundred thousand dollars between these three so I think we can oh interesting um, so there we go like that and uh, does this not have a stockpile I wonder if we're going to have to set up some specialized stockpile just for this or if uh, yeah I don't know like I see the I can't I'm pointing at the screen but I can't see it but you see next to like to the left of where my mouse is where the belt is that green square there. Um, I wonder if that's like where the stockpile is supposed to be, or maybe if you use a computer, like you have to build your own stockpile or something. I don't know, but we'll put that there. Oh, there. Okay, so it did put the stockpile there just on its own. Okay, good. Uh, and fit root roof, and it looks like that's going to be the stockpile location for that one too. So I don't think we quite need so many squares in between. Maybe uh, if I do it like this, or even like that. No, you know what? I want to go this way, and then we'll put the fit doors. Put that like right there. Should work out all right, I think. And then we will run a conveyor like that. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, you're going to go up that way. Then you're going to go there. And then you're going to go there. Oh, come on. And you'll go like that. And then you'll come down and over and down. And then get rid of that. And, uh, of course, it doesn't get rid of the... Uh, thing in the middle there but let's see how let's see how this works so I do need to get a resource conveyor getting to these stockpiles here that's pretty easy and that should bring in the stockpiles for that and uh, let's see how that works hopefully this will speed up our process a little bit ah that's not what I wanted to do No, I don't want to look at the vehicle details. I'd like to look at these details. There we go. So this still has a lot of a lot of work to do, and it's not quite going to uh, push the cars out as fast as they're coming in from the uh, chassis construction. But they're not going to have to wait quite as long either. Maybe that's uh, so weird. It's like I forgot to put my contacts in when it does that. Uh, but maybe they will, um, um, what am I trying to say here? See, yeah, I really need to break this fit body frame down into two parts. Which is a shame, because that means that this is going to be too close, and this is going to be too close. I guess what I could do, oh, and, uh, you know what? What we don't need is, uh, is this thing on here. Because, now... It's weird that, the, that it's not like 
Okay, now it's doing its little animations and stuff. What is going on down here? Um, but I do need to stop it here because uh, it's actually going to go um, directly this way after after it gets put together. But I do want to get that other that other body frame built since we've gone through the trouble and expense of getting it ready. And uh, so here it's probably not going to let it go forward because there's just nowhere for it to go to. So I guess I could try to connect it up to the line as it leaves. The conveyors are fairly cheap. Like that. There we go. And that should uh, push the car along that line. It's so weird because like, I'm, I'm not used to playing Big Pharma because I don't really play it very much, but... Uh, well, that was weird. It turned like that. But I'm I'm used to stuff taking like a step and moving in little steps, and uh, it's kind of weird that it doesn't move in little steps. So we're gonna have to keep dropping the price on this car. I don't mind. We made a lot of money on our first few cars, maybe because it was a new item or something. I'll leave it at that new lower price and see if that is gonna work. But you know we've got more cars. We should have more cars coming off the line. Here. It looks like we've sped up our uh, construction by about 50%. Now, you know what we could do is leave this here and let it take some of the overflow because it can still get some of those cars done. And uh, I wonder how well it does at splitting stuff up like that. I mean, I, I think we're still paying uh, uh, some expenses based on, uh, on like, we got to pay labor for these things and stuff. But, uh, now, why are you missing parts? Do I just not have enough of those uh, incoming part things set up? So, maybe I need to set up. We still, still have $960,000, so I'm not too worried about money. Let's put a resource importer here. And uh, maybe that'll start spending, sending stuff along. I want to get stuff over to here. So, I guess this door is closer. But we've got so many things set up now on... Uh, I guess what I could do is shift... I can delete... Let's wait until we get those off there. There we go. There we go. Well, that's fine. So now it should bring stuff in off of this one to get to uh, to get to the chassis or the fit body station there. Although it's still insufficient resources. Okay, so why is it not bringing them in? I wonder if these things are uh, if these things are one way. Ah, shit. All right, let's just redo the whole stupid thing. Okay, great. So. Uh, resource conveyor. Uh huh. You're gonna go like that, and then you're gonna go like that. Whoops. I thought I had to hit shift to make that delete it. Alright, like that. Okay. No, come on! There we go. <laughs> now, no route to stockpile, but there is a route to stockpile. That route goes just like that. Waiting, no route for resources. Uh huh. Hmm. All right, let's. Ah, uh, oh, shit. That's not what I wanted to do. All right. Well, I guess that solved that problem, huh? It'd be nice if, uh, when you go to delete a big piece like this, if it gave you a, are you sure, yes, no option, maybe? Put that in the official forum suggestion area. But, too late. Already done it. I could set up another one of these, uh, like right here, maybe. And, because uh, it looks like these smaller pieces are able to keep up fairly well. So that is a fit body frame, right? So if we put it like right there, yeah, but then it doesn't have a way to hook back around to get to, uh, but if we put it right there, it does. And would we be able to get 
our resources there. It seems to have a problem with getting resources in. Let's find out. Oh, good. We're selling selling all of our cars. No, I don't want to go. I, w I just want to go like that. There we go. And then we'll run you up here to there. And then we'll run you to there. Great. And we need to get resources. Let's see if we can make this work this time. So we're going to go here and then up to there. Still doesn't want to bring him in. Interesting. I wonder why it won't bring him in. Is it because it's trying to pull him in off of this importer? But it, like, all right. You win, game. You win. I'll, I'll connect you over that way. And hopefully it will start bringing, uh, there you go. Now it's going to start bringing those parts in to there. So that's a, a strange situation. I don't really know whether it qualifies as a bug or um, just an idiosyncrasy or something, but I am going to start a, a comment about that. Now we are running into a, a real uh, slowdown with the um, with the with the painting over here. Like I knew our next uh, our next challenge was going to be painting. Uh, how's our research coming along? Slowly. I think we can afford another research lab or two. So let's uh, smack a couple of those down. Research office. Boom. It's not really a boom noise, but you know. Oh, they're all uh, they're all Zen over there, just meditating and saying their mantras. Uh, but the cars are not going to be so backed up that um, that uh, you know that they're really going to cause problems. And we'll get that paint thing streamlined. The good news is is now we have plenty of room to play around in here with the paint uh, getting streamlined. So, yeah, I don't know what the deal is with the with the resources um, getting in. Uh, you know, I mean, I, I, I get that. Uh, now, see, now, why is it bringing the paint? Why isn't it just bringing the paint in directly from here? Ah, shit. Come on. Uh, now, there we go, okay. <sighs> Maybe I need to re-put that in there. Let's try that. Resource conveyor, we'll go like that. And then we'll go up to there. Ah, for crying out loud! Alright. So, uh, UI thing would be real nice for the UI right click and uh, that what uh, uh, turns off current placement and delete all right another good another good little tip there but figuring out why um, why we aren't getting resources in off of this one to go over to these things would be real nice to know. But that's good. We got the got the stuff backed up. Let's turn that speed up. We don't really need to be running at the slowest speed this moment. New research complete. Great. Let's uh, ah, for slow down. The, there we go. Um... Just speed when research complete. Or maybe auto pause or something when the research is complete. Um, okay, so we're paused and we're going to set our research. And so body frame specialization seems to be our next major slowdown. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll just get that knock that one out real quick and uh, we have gotten paint special specialization down so that's going to be four stages here 
So it comes out of here and it's ready to paint. So we can we can paint the undercoat like right there. And it's a shame that I can't build this on top of um, on top of the existing uh, what I could do, I guess, is like put it right there, and then what's the dry undercoat gonna look like? Yep, yeah. and then finish. So I could put those three like back to back. Do they all have no stockpile on that one? Their stockpiles are all on the same side. And dry finish. So I could, in theory, do this, right? Why won't it let me? No route to stockpile. It's weird that it was red like that. Dry, finish, dry finish. And we will run a resource conveyor like this. And we will run a regular conveyor like that. And then we will. Um, we're going to bypass that line right there. So we'll go out and then over. And then we're going to go back down along this line here. And we'll go over along that line there. And now we've spent most of our money. So let's close that down and turn the speed back on. There we go. Close that window. Well, now it's bringing in plenty of uh, paint and stuff from this line, but it's still strangely not getting anything over to this area. And of course, this research that we're doing is really going to disrupt all of this stuff that we've put in down here. Mm, it's not pulling any cars into this. Okay, it is pulling them in there. Good. Oh, good. So in here, it looks like the drying areas are the the uh, the slowdown. That one goes pretty fast, but this one is going real slow. So I guess uh, theoretically, you'd want to split it, do one paint, and then two two dries maybe. But we are making good progress over there, and none of this stuff really seems to be all that slow. I guess fit engine is uh, is our our next bottleneck. Although it seems like even with our uh, painting setup, we're still not quite able to keep up with uh, with production. I got to stop spending so much money. We are uh, losing money over the last hour. I'm not quite sure. Hour like in game. Hmm. And I'm not really sure what this power deficit thing means either. Zero of 11,000? Is that that 11,000 how much I have remaining? Do, uh, do, these, um, do these belts use power? Ah, can't see. All right, high speed. We are keeping up, which is real nice. Getting through there slowly but surely. I think we were lined up back to here. Maybe maybe we're only just keeping up. But even if we're only just keeping up, that means we're not getting behind. Uh, and so we're at a um, pretty close to maximum flow through. Mm. It's really close. I because you know that car. This car is going to be sitting on this corner here. And I thought that that corner was the end of the line and it may be and if that's the case then we're these two paint stations are going exactly as fast as we need based on the uh, stuff that we have going in and then once we break down the body frame sections into their uh, separate parts um, that'll probably get us more cars going through than we can then we can quite manage uh, between these different paint stations. Of course, that means we could just set up another, uh, set up another. Uh, 
If we were to redo the paint station, we'd have to tear down all three of these. Actually, probably tear down all four and reroute it in some way because we'd want to do a paint and then a split and two dries and then combine those back down to another paint and then split that into two dries. Uh, body frame specialization unlocked. Great. Um, I don't really need to do any of those uh, specializations. I think engine specialization was our next problem. But uh, maybe uh, more robots. Let's try getting more robots and then maybe improved efficiency. Oh, look at that. Yeah, because then we can like faster drying. Very good. Well, we'll get those here shortly. So maybe, I, maybe I'm putting too much into research at this point. Um, oh, my gosh. Okay, fit engine definitely uh, definitely needs to be our next uh, next project. As a matter of fact, uh, how far along are we on in this one? Yeah, let's actually just go to engine specialization. Okay, now do we lose? And we don't lose our research from the previous one, so that's nice. Good. Okay, it's going to cost us money to break down the fit engine thing as well, but um, uh, that will. Oh my gosh, that is really backing up our uh, our cars. I didn't realize how much of a hassle that is. So now, just need to wait on that research. This game is pretty fun. At least, you know, all the exploring and stuff that we're doing so far. I wonder what that does seem to do much of anything. Just wait till the future. That button will serve a good purpose. All right, well, the good news is all this stuff has been able to stock up. Everything's full of paint. No, no need to worry about getting more supplies in there. Research is uh, probably at about 60% now at this point. 70%. 71, 72. Five. So, um, I've been watching uh, season two of Better Call Saul. That is a great show. Uh, I liked Breaking Bad well enough. Actually, I like Breaking Bad. I don't even want to downplay it. Breaking Bad's a pretty great show. Um, uh, uh, but man, this Better Call Saul is amazing. And, um, all right, let's go back to uh, more robots. Actually, you know what? No, let's go to improved efficiency. Yeah, research now. And it's really fun to learn the backstories. I'm surprised all the different back character backstories that they're fitting into uh, Better Call Saul, so it's really neat. All right, so let's look at, let's look at what we're going to add in here. So we're at Fit Engine, right? Wow, that breaks into a bunch of pieces. Engine Assembly which is fine to go there. But does it tell how long it takes? It does, 14 seconds, six seconds, six, 13, and 14. So I'd want to do one fit engine, two radiators, two exhausts, one, no, that's not right. Two fit engines, one radiator, one exhaust, two wheel assemblies, and two steering assemblies. And uh, I'm not going to do all that, of course. Uh, so I'll just do one. But let's plan ahead to where I could... Well, I, I don't want to plan too far ahead because then we're going we're gonna to have, uh, have those in there as well. So um, I guess we'll just do one piece at a time and just go from there. Uh, but we don't really need to start over there, right? Are we going to keep both of these paint things going? If so, I would want to start over there. I probably also would want to run the... Well, shit. This is not the most efficient factory it could be. I probably should have run this belt like along the inside here so I could have left all this area open. Um, so let's... I uh, guess let's lay the stuff down first and then we will start uh, laying down the uh, tracks. 
Um, but, um, actually, before we do that, we are going to put in a cut because uh, it's been the correct amount of time for that. So, uh, I hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. It's really been fun. Um, if you have, you should click the like button and leave me some comments in the comment area. I like talking to people about my games and everything. Uh, the first episode of this really got good views. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm really happy to see how many people are excited to see these videos. Uh, or at least the one video so far. So uh, if you have enjoyed watching these, you should check out some of the other uh, stuff that I make. I do RimWorld uh, every day. Uh, RimWorld's a really great game. If you're not familiar with it, check it out. I'm pretty good at it. Um, and also I've been playing Transport Fever and um, uh, uh, FTL. I'm, I've got an FTL series that I'm probably going to wrap up here before too long. Um, and uh, what else am I doing? I don't know, I like playing all sorts of games, and I have other games that I'll be planning on playing. I could do a Factorio as soon as they release the next Alpha on Factorio. Probably do Software Inc. as well when they release their Alpha on that. So, uh, anyways, uh, I appreciate you watching, and I hope you will come back again. Uh, see you next time. Bye.